Strickland is concerned about a proposed MLGW rate increase. It would add more than $16 to your monthly bill in the next few years. Local 24 News reporter Mike Matthews explains how it would affect your money. You know, when you get a group of people like this together in Memphis, they talk about things, things that affect them daily, their paychecks, things like Memphis light, gas and water and the rate hike request. It's a big deal. People at this South Memphis luncheon know living in Memphis isn't easy. The working class people of this city often have to choose between eating dinner or paying a bill. Poverty still tears at the seams of Memphis, even if the percentage of people at or below the poverty level has dropped over the years. 24.6% is still way too high, but we're not going to drop it to zero overnight. We just got to keep working on it. The cold weather of winter is coming. It will visit a city where home insulation often doesn't exist. A city where the Memphis light gas and water bill is a real life nightmare, especially if utility officials get their request to raise rates by more than $16 a month by 2021. Since my days on the council and now as mayor, I view any tax hide or rate fee or, or, or with skepticism. And I think that's what we ought to do. Until Now, I'm not saying I would never support something like that, but it has to be justified. Frankly, Mayor Jim Strickland can't do much. The city council decides how much money MLGW will get, but the mayor says MLGW has to do something about its infrastructure problems, and somebody has to pay for that. I think there's universal agreement on that. So you got those two, the need for better infrastructure, and nobody wants to, to pay higher fees. There's got to be a balance there, so I'm going to start digging in on it and see if I can help out. As far as MLGW is concerned, the mayor will continue to look at it. He doesn't set the policy. City council will vote on it. He just wants to see if he can try to make things a little better. In Memphis, Mike Matthews, Local 24 News.